Beth with Thimble Hooks. Thanks for stopping by. Today's project is going to be a spiral. Now, how many times have you tried to do this and you just couldn't follow what the instructions were? The written instructions were too vague or the verbal instructions were just didn't make any sense. Well, I'm going to show you how to do this the easy way and you don't have to just make a coaster. We can actually just keep on going and going and going and making it as big as you want because I have all the math done for you. So let's get started. We're going to do two colors today. Three and four are coming up soon. But here's a two color spiral. There's my black and white. And this one just seemed like fun. It's a turquoise and a and pumpkin, I think. And then this one is just obnoxious because I love these kind of colors. So they're fun. But today I'm going to show you with, surprise, a shade of pink and gray. These are both Karen Simply Soft. This one is Plum Wine and this one is Heather Gray. So I'm going to show you how to do a two colored spiral. The easy way. I promise it will be simple. And you can keep going and going and going. So let's just set these guys over here so we remember what we're making along the way. So I will show you how to make it into a circle and finish it off to make it into a granny square if you wanted to or to just keep right on going. Alright, so we are going to get started. We have two colors and pick one of them to make a magic circle. It doesn't matter which one. Whichever one you want because they're not going to show. But we're going to make a magic circle. And if you don't remember how to ma make a magic circle or a magic ring, I have a two or three minute tutorial on how to do it the super simple way. So we're going to just go wrap around our fingers like this. X in the back. Go under the first one. Pull through. Twist. Grab and pull through. Now we have our magic circle. Oh, and by the way, this is a four millimeter hook. Uh, I used a four millimeter so that I could get the size that I have right here, which is about a five inch, five inch square. Um, but you can use whatever hook that you are comfortable with or whichever one is on the label for your yarn. All right, so here's my color number one. We're going to do in our magic circle with the color we just made our, our loop with, we're going to do two single crochets. And let's go mark that first one. You want two stitch markers, one for each color that you're using. So there's my first stitch and another single crochet. And then two half double crochets. One and two. And then with the same color, two double crochets. One and two. There you go. We have our six stitches. Now we want to pull this loop up so we don't lose that because we're going to move on to our gray here for just a second. I'm going to fasten this on and do the exact same thing. So in our magic ring, bring in our color number two. Just fasten on really quick and do two single crochets. There's one. And I like to mark my very first stitch, one for each color, one and two. And then two half double crochets in that same color, one and two. And then two double crochets, one and two. This is the hardest and messiest part probably, is just getting this ring started. We got all these little tails hanging around, but now we're going to pull on our magic circle and get it closed. So there's the magic part of our magic circle. So right now we have 12 stitches in our magic ring. So with our pink yarn, we're going to do two double crochets in each one of these six stitches on top of the gray. And that's why I mark this first stitch, because sometimes that one likes to hide. So we're going to go into this very first stitch right here and do a double crochet. And one more double crochet in that same stitch. And now we're going to take our marker out and go back to that first stitch. So we did two, so there is my area right there and click. Now I want to do the same thing in these other five. 
So two double crochets in each stitch just like this. There's the fourth one. Number five. And there's our last one right here where our loop is. We caught up to our other loop. So there's two double crochets. So we just made 12 pink. It doesn't look like a spiral yet, but it will in just a second. So let's pull this loop up. And then we are going to go back to our gray. Color number two. Get him on our hook. And then see this one wanted to hide, this little stitch wanted to hide, so that's perfect that we marked it. We want to do the exact same thing. Two double crochets with our gray into each of these pink stitches. One, two, for 12 total stitches up to here. So now we want to move our marker because we just did our first set of two double crochet. Let's move our stitch marker. So we want to go, that was our first stitch, two, three, four, five and six. So we want to work up to, but not including, our marked stitch so we don't lose count. So here's our second stitch, two double crochets in each. And there's third. Fourth. Five. Two double crochets, whoopsie, and here is my last stitch, two double crochets, and then now we caught up to our stitch marker again. So that was super easy. Now it's starting to look like a spiral. This is awesome. And right, so we're going to pull up a loop so we don't lose that stitch. That's important. If you're not comfortable with doing it this way, put another stitch marker on it so it doesn't get lost. So now we're going to go back to our pink. And see there's our mark stitch. So that's where we want to start. So round three, this is going to sound familiar. It's just like increasing any other circle. We're just doing it two colors at a time. So right now, since the first time, we did six of each in our magic circle for 12. Then we did two double crochets in each one, so we've increased to 24. Now we're going to increase to 36. Very similar to just increasing a normal circle, but we're going to do half the circle at a time. So in our first stitch on round three, we're going to do two double crochets in that marked stitch. One and two. And I want to move my marker to the first stitch that we made. So that's two back, one and two. And now our sequence is, that was two double crochets. In the next one is one double crochet then an increase of two double crochets in the same stitch, double crochet, two double crochets, one double crochet, two double crochets, one double crochet, and that's our sequence all the way back to our loop. And there's my last sequence. There's two double crochets. And our last one is right here where our loop is, our gray loop. And that last stitch is a double crochet. So that sequence was two double crochets in a stitch for an increase and then a double crochet and then increase, double crochet, increase, double crochet all the way until you get to your loop. Now we're going to do the gray one. Pull out your loop, get the gray back on and in our marked stitch right here we're going to do the same thing. Our marked stitch gets two double crochet
and we want to mark our first stitch. So take out our marker and go back to one and two. Mark that guy again. So it's easy to find. And then that was our increase. So now we just do a do double crochet. Easy peasy. Next one is an increase. So that's two doubles in the same stitch. The next one is just a double crochet. Increase two doubles in the same stitch. Then next is a double crochet. Two double crochet. Double crochet. Two. One. Two. And our last stitch right here gets a double crochet. We made it back to our marker. So there's the beginning of our spiral and see how simple that was. That was just round one, two, and three. So we've increased up to 36. So now we're going to turn this again, pull out our gray so we don't lose that stitch and turn back to our pink. Round four will start just like we did round three. An increase in the first stitch, so two double crochets in that first stitch. Then we're going to move our stitch marker to the first stitch that we made, which is two back, one, two, right here. Then our sequence after that is a double crochet, and then another double crochet in the next stitch, and then an increase. So you're probably getting the, the pattern there. There's an increase, double crochet, double crochet, increase, double crochet, double crochet, and then an increase, which is two doubles in the same stitch, double crochet, double crochet, and an increase, which is two in the same stitch, all the way back until you meet up with your gray loop. There's my last sequence. There's my increase. Two doubles in the same. And there's a double crochet here. And now back here again, we are back to our loop, our gray loop. So that's our last stitch. And that is a double crochet. So we've done half of round four now. It's kind of like a seashell. That's cute. I like it. Okay, so pull out our loop and grab the gray again. We're going to do the exact same thing. It's an increase, double crochet, double crochet, and an increase. So two in our first stitch with our second color. Two doubles right there. Bam. And we're going to move our stitch marker to our first gray stitch. One, two. And then to complete that sequence, the next stitch gets a double crochet, and the next stitch gets a double crochet, and then when it, we want to do an increase, which is two in the same stitch, and then a double crochet, double crochet, and then another set. So there's an increase, two in the same stitch. double crochet in the next, double crochet in the next, and finish that sequence back to your stitch marker. Up to, but not including, the stitch marker. Here's my last sequence. There will be two double crochets in my first stitch here, a double crochet in the next, and a double crochet in that last stitch before we get to our marker. So that is the end of round four. Easy peasy. We're going to do round five. We'll do one more and then I'll give you some options on how to finish this off. Let's do one more. I bet you can figure out what it is. It's just like any other circle. Remember the first one was stitches in the magic circle, but then we did two double crochets in each. Then we did an increase of two double crochets and a double crochet in between. The next one was two double crochets in between our increases. So what do you think we're going to do this time? 
three double crochets in between our increase. So our very first stitch is going to still be a double crochet and another. So there's our increase and we want to mark our first stitch that we made. So one, two back and now three double crochets in between our increases. So there's one, two, and three. And then our two doubles for an increase right there. And then we want to do three double crochets in the next three stitches. There's one, two, and three. And an increase and that follow that all the way up. So there's our increase. There's two in the same stitch. And our next three stitches each get one double crochet. And there's my last set of four stitches in the gray. So the first one was an increase, two double crochets in that same stitch, and each of these last three stitches gets a double crochet. And there is half of round five. Okay, I'll try to start with the same color each time so you don't get off track. So now we have to finish the other half. So we'll pull out our pink, kind of move it off to the side here a little bit, and then we're going to do the exact same thing with the gray up to, but not including, our stitch marker. So our very first stitch right here, our marked stitch, is two double crochet, one and two, and we want to move our stitch marker back to the first stitch that we made in gray. So it's one and two back. And that was our increase. So now we want to do the next three stitches are just a double crochet. One, two, and three. And then our increase, two doubles in the same stitch. And the next three stitches each get one double crochet. And that's our sequence all the way around. So here's another increase. And then the next three stitches each get one double crochet all the way up to, but not including, this marker right here. And here's my last set of four stitches before I get to my stitch marker. So we'll do the increase, which is two double crochets in the same stitch. And these last three stitches each get one double crochet. So you can follow the sequence and the pattern for this is very similar to increasing any other circle. Like if you're making a hat, the same kind of an increase. In our magic circle, we did our 12 stitches. And then in each of the next ones, there was an increase in every stitch. The next one, there was an increase and then a double crochet. And then an increase, double crochet, increase, double crochet. The next one was increase, double, double, increase, double, double. This one was increase, double, 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 increase, double, double, double. So you can figure out the rest of the pattern. Every time you do another grouping, you're going to have one more stitch in between your increases. Super simple. All right, so there's our spiral. Now here's some options. If you wanted to make it bigger, in between each increase, you just add another one. So if I were going to do another one, it would be an increase and then four double crochets and an increase, blah, 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 blah. The next one after that would be five, six, seven. Keep going as big as you want. And you can make yourself a huge blanket if you want to and it'll be a cool spiral. Or if you wanted to finish this off and have it be a circle right now the way it is, what you want to do is do as many half double crochets and as many single crochets as the last time that you did increases. So in between my increases on this last one there were three stitches. On this round five there was an increase and then three double crochets and then an increase. So we want to use that three and do a half double crochet one once in the next stitch twice. There we go. And there's our third half double crochet. So we're going to finish this off so it looks like a circle. And then in the next three stitches each get a single crochet. One, 
two, three, and then end with a slip stitch and finish it off. And that will make you your circle. You can see it ends right there. You do that on both sides. I'm going to do this side really quick so you can see that it really does turn into a circle. So remember, just whatever count you had in between your increases, that's how many half double crochets and single crochets you want to do. So my round five had three, so there's half double crochet number one. And the next stitch gets a half double crochet. And the third stitch gets a half double crochet. The next three stitches each get a single crochet. And our final stitch is just a slip stitch and then you would fasten off. It's perfectly round. Hooray! So if you made this super huge and made it into a blanket or a throw and for example you had 20 double crochets in between your increases, you would change this count to 20 half double crochets and then 20 single crochets and then your slip stitch. Easy peasy. So just remember whatever number you're on, that's your count. So we're going to take these out again. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. And we're back to our stitch marker. I'm going to show you how to make this into a granny square. You wanted to make it into a square so you can do an afghan or include this in some kind of a mix. It will be great. One, two, three. And one, two, three. And we are back to our stitch markers. That's why I left them in there to make sure we get back to our right spot. So we want to turn this into a square. Turning a circle into a square is pretty simple. We're going to make a corner like we do on all kinds of other granny squares. We're going to do three double crochets in the same stitch. One, two, and three. Chain three. One, two, three and then three more double crochets in that same stitch. So we made ourselves a corner. One, two, and three. So if you've ever made any other granny squares that should look pretty familiar. There's a little corner right there. The next two stitches get double crochets, one in each stitch. The next three stitches get a half double crochet, one, two, and three. The next four stitches get a single crochet. One, two, three, four. And then we're just going to reverse that. So we did two doubles, three halves, four singles. So now we're going to do three half doubles again. One, two, and three two double crochets, one and two, and then make another corner. So when our next stitch gets three double crochets, chain three, and three double crochets in that same stitch to make corner number two. So there's corner number two. We do two corners in each color. Alright, so there's our first corner right here. There's a side and here's our second corner. We have a little bit more to do with color A. So we're going to do two double crochets. One and two. Three half doubles. So there's one, two, and three four single crochets, one, two, three, four, and then our last stitch is a slip stitch right there. So we've done half of our square in gray. There's corner number one, corner number two, there you go. So now we move on to our other color. It doesn't really matter which order you do these in as long as you don't get your yarn all knotted up. We're going to do the same thing again. We're going to make a corner, three double crochets in the same stitch, one, two, 
chain three and three double crochet again in that same stitch. There's a corner. Boom. One, two, and there's my last one. So there's my corner. Lots of stitches in that corner. Corner number one in pink. Now down the side we want to do two double crochets. There's one and two. Three half doubles. One, two, and three. Four single crochet. One, two, three, four. And then finish the side off again so it's symmetrical. There are three half doubles. One, two, and three. The next two stitches are double crochet. One and two. Now we want to make a corner which is three double crochets in the same stitch. Chain three and three more double crochet in that same stitch. One, two, and three. And then we want to finish off this other little side. So we're going to do a two double crochets just like we did with the gray. There's two here, three half doubles, four singles, one, two, three, and four, and then our last stitch is a slip stitch to end. And then you can just finish this off. I really like how the black and white spiral looks. I think this one is really fun. This is probably one of my favorites. But you see you'll end up doing two corners in color A and two corners in color B. Again, you can make this as big as you want. So hopefully this isn't confusing anymore. Everybody can make spirals. The two color spiral is very, very simple. I have three and four color spirals in case you've ever just said, I can't do this. Give it another try. Give this a try. It's really easy and it's a great place to start. So thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks and stop back soon. I have more fun stuff coming. Thanks. Bye.